Good morning, everyone. We're going to start by singing Amazing Grace, page, or actually, The Cleansing Wave, page 225, page 225, 227, 227, in the red, in the light red dot book. In the dark blue song book. Verses one through three. <laughs>
eben Covid nineteen, one of the church members' grandson, a fiend's cat, no. <laughs> so now so the Lord's Supper see that the nation spent uh, a year that that I say we did uh, some early in uh, 2021 that in uh, for after the main service next week. I do I love my church Sunday to banquet the uh, uh, February 13. A dinner activities sign up to bring dessert. I do reading schedule that or question. I actually. We have reading schedule that are there. They'll help you. And, uh, and then the book of Revelations, the reading the, through the book. And then prayer requests for all church members, their families, those with COVID-19, comfort for those that have lost their loved ones. Pray for our nation, President Biden, President, uh, our nation, President uh, Nance, and their vice presidents and other leaders with them. Uh, to pray for a revival in our country. We need the time. And uh, somebody was saying that this is a help uh, to one person. That, um, that they really thought about life <coughs> and then began to do what they not, they usually don't do. At uh, the birthday, Ellen, la, Asia, Ellen, three, okay, it's key, it's key, it's it's birthday, January. How old are you going to be? 25th. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, a couple of things. I'll tell you, 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 I'll were even almost uh, one for the eight uh, missionaries yeah, in Kohitsi. So, so that's uh, one day our announcements. If you have any uh, air. Uh, pray for my dad. He's uh, the hospital under uh, with the virus or something. Really? So, but he's, he's okay. It's just uh, his left lung is kind of weak. So uh -huh. probably from coffee, he probably. Probably put damage there or something. Yeah. They're trying to, they're trying to water call him. I think he's over the, the virus or everything, but it's just his lung. Alright. Oh, hey. Hey, 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 hey,
arms, it seems like it's like that. And I want to sit with it for a year and a half. And I don't want that to happen again. I need to cook for, for my husband. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh. it's very well, my cousin passed away too, mom. Uh, his name is Eugene. Mm. Uh, um, the grand Anna, Anna Nev, his grandson. And um, just pray for the family. So support and too. We didn't go. Uh. We, we didn't know what, what, what the problem was. So that's here. <laughs> but yeah, just uh, just pray for the family. Oh yeah. I think, uh, I don't know if he was saved, he claimed he was, but uh, he did go to a different church that was in Tula. I don't know what they believe. Potter's house. <clears throat> so they probably talked to the potter. Just want to um, thank you, Murphy. They tell me my heart was bad. And they stand up and uh, do some uh, work and it should be alright. Thank you. For your uh, prayer. Yeah, uh, since I saw you this color. Yeah, he's all seven. Yeah, amen. Thank you. Oh, keep praying for one another so that they will all have different needs. And uh, uh, we, we go through that, uh, probably pray for some every other day or every day. Pray for those guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know. Are you going to get a shirt, huh? Okay. We're going to sing another song called The Great Physician. The Great Physician. And that one song. Verses 1 through 4. In Navajo. Oh, in Navajo. Page 54.
Good morning. That's a good song, and uh, this song that I think relates to the praise that, that we just heard. I call it Johnny. So uh, I might do my less, uh, but I'm not sure. I was thinking that uh, before I uh, got this message together uh, out of uh, Acts. But we'll go ahead and read here. Uh, from uh, chapter 27, verse 1 through 13, don't list. And this one be just uh, I hope it'll be good. And when it came, when it was determined that we should sail into Italy, they determined or delivered Paul and certain other prisoners unto one named Julius, a centurion of Augustus' band, and entering into a ship of Adramidium, we launched meaning to sail by the coast of Asia. One Aristarchus, a Macedonian of uh, Thessalonica being with us. And the next day we touched at Sidon, and Julius courteously entreated Paul and gave him liberty to go unto his friends to refresh himself. And when we launched from thence, we sailed unto Cyprus because the winds were contrary. And when we had sailed over the a sea of Cilicia and Pamphylia, we came to Mara, a city of Lycia. And there the centurion found a ship of Alexandria sailing into Italy, and we put and he put us there on. And when we had uh, sailed slowly many days, and scarce were come over against Cedius and the, the wind not suffering as we sail under Crete over against Siloam and hardly passing that came unto a place which is called the Fair Havens nigh where unto was the city of Lycia. Now when much time was spent and when sailing was now dangerous because of the fast was now already past, Paul admonished them and said unto them, Sirs, I perceive that the voyage will be with much, uh, with hurt and much damage, not only of the lading and ship, but also of our lives. Nevertheless, the centurion believed the, ma the master and the owner of the ship more than those things which were spoken by Paul, because the haven was not commodious to winter and uh, not convenient. The more part of advice to the part sense also, if by any means they might attain to Venice and there to wither, which is in the haven of Crete, and lie toward the south west and northwest. Heavenly Father, thank you again for the word, and we need just uh, more help from you, the Spirit of God. We need your word to be. Uh, translated to our heart and our minds and uh, that we uh, may uh, get something that will help us this morning and for our lives. So we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, dear, 
you know, life is like a trip. You know, the sailing may be smooth and uh, it can get rough and then it can also uh, become uh, even difficult and dangerous at times. And then the, the destination uh, can and sure uh, can be certain, but the trip is usually unknown. You know, the, the destination is sure, we're all going to heaven, but the trip from here to heaven uh, may, may, may be not known. You know, Paul in his writing in uh, 1 Thessalonians uh, uh, one uh, five twenty three, he said that your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of the, our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, I, you know, uh, like I was saying, I was going to teach on uh, Tuesday, and uh, a man uh, from Hard Rock said, I have a struggle with alcohol. He says, when I'm released, I know they're going to make me drink. <coughs> And then I told him that uh, he, he claims the Lord, but he's a defeated uh, Christian, always drinking, always uh, getting into that. I said, we're made out of body, soul, and spirit. Your body is the one that you're running on, and your soul needs the word of God. And then your spirit needs to change by uh, this life that you're living and uh, so we, we kind of hit on that for a while, uh, temptation. And then you know that that's the battle that men face uh, as they travel this uh, life that we're living in the aqua. Sometimes your flesh is going to be in the way. Sometimes your your soul is depleted of uh, nourishment, and you're weak, defeated, frustrated and sometimes angry and uh, just disappointed, uh, full of anxieties and uh, frustrations and uh, just a whole lot of things. So, a corn, dig at the honey, none of it's not, as it was the sooner and had long enough. A corn, a Satan John got toys, a cohort, the horse, or was out on the Saturday oil. And Naughty Dad on the Saturday eight or Oyo Nahan a corn jungle at all, nasal and nasty. Nains card a corn out of it. I hope I go back to the door. The snow, so a ya yast kitchen, so a a now the age of a corn bed. I need none of you what a cohort in a way. I told nesters and not ski hot out nest that day. Just then, so it ever had a yard lunch of another door, Jana. A coho e bike hot at no yaski or lunch, sensima or London, this is there or London. No yaski in the acquaintance she got at the lava at ours, a shout no nest none. Joe couldn't at heart of a hat and hat and everything it's a sell, yehagi, ado is a zinu, yehagi, ado and nsti. A coho e sa a sa a sa a bike honus, oh, e such a. Bahatan, 
Okay, number one will be the natural causes. Notice verse in, in verse seven. Uh, there, uh, they said uh, uh, the wind was not suffering us. Na wind. And then verse uh, nine, uh, it says that uh, the sailing was not dangerous. Na I say that the wind in New York it oiled on Hahas Arden. Na Arona con a and New York and Oberhout said. Oh, <laughs> Now some car, you know, some people that are born with a, a part of the arm. And uh, John chapter 9, verse number 1. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciple asked him, saying, Master, who did send this man or his parents that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither had this man sinned nor the, his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in them. Nila. You know, there's a reason for any and every situation. Yeah. Hush, eh, at the Napa Zegila. Out of Hush, eh, at the Nata 
we have no uh, no say over the circumstances yeah I see that what you know sometimes a person will take um, wrong medicines yes so a poet on top of say daughter as it or either lady in the lobby or scares or that even in natural and she need not go for a I don't, uh, you know, the raw medicine can uh, cause something, and then maybe wrong food, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wrong food. Uh, I remember an, an Indian uh, preacher and American preacher uh, met, and one preached, and the other preached also, and one uh, pointed at the other, hey, you're a gluttonous man, you should not be overweight, but a bit of as young. Uh, you're chomping on your cigar. Uh, you're wrong also. So well, I guess both were wrong in, in what they saw. So actually, you you rather see the other guy than see yourself. What we take, what we uh, smoke in the uh, smell and all that can be, uh, even habits can be, uh, can uh, be about, yeah, called Nei Yanigi in the year. Uh, what else? That's the door, grass, what else? What else? But it's a door, this other one, the corn. Art, a hagita, narcon, a ya, and a je, a mother, a je, a hat, is she, bastion. Yeah, you know, the parents do pass uh, addictions to their own children. Uh, I have heard so many a time uh, when uh, a, a child is born, they are already addicted to cocaine. You know, uh, who made that that way? Uh, the parents did. Uh, Isaiah or oh, Ezekiel 16:44 or uh, some of these I'm trying to go through real quickly. Behold, everyone, every one that uses the proverb shall use this proverb against thee, saying, "As is the mother, so is her daughter." Uh, you know, the, some of us that have a, a tough life and we actually pick up on uh, their uh, bad habits, yeah. And then the, the second cause is uh, human cause or this human. Scripture verse eight, and the least Quran eleven. Look at eleven. Nevertheless, the centurion believed the master. The centurion Paul said, "Hey, uh, there's going to be hurt. There's going to be damage, and even our lives." And then. This, this uh, centurion believed the master and owner of the ship ne? more than those things which were spoken by Paul. And because the haven was not commodious or convenient to winter in, the more parted advice, advice to depart thence, uh, more people said, Hey, we need to leave here. So what a human cause, yeah. Uh at our Paul a set alone Nada Sage Tai Tik at a Kwe or Yahoo Eta 
Mm. You may not like a place that you got to hang there for a while, yeah? Yes. Uh, you may not like the, the sickness. You may not like the, the atmosphere, the circumstance. Hey, uh, it might be good to hang around there for a while, and then you, you might be able to move on better than if you just uh, hit the road when the, the things start uh, going bad, yeah? Alcohol, even in, uh, uh, as a brother, uh, I think it was uh, let go. And then he said uh, he's back, back at work. So sometimes, hey, uh, the, the weather uh, it is bad, the storm brews, hey. Hey, if God says, uh, stay right there, hey, stay right there. And in the window, back uh, when we first started, uh, we had no money. And... Uh, Everything didn't look good, and uh, the grandma said, hey, go ahead and uh, find yourself a job, and find yourself another church, maybe they'll pay you better, we don't have much. You know, just uh, sheep herders, they don't make much, and uh, some of them are not retired yet, or not on Social Security, and uh, you know, at that time, you know, that's the time we, we stuck it out. I wonder why it would have been if we say, okay, there's a good... That's why I candidated in the City, Flat Staff, Kienta. All of them didn't want me. So there's, there's my answer. They didn't want me. If they don't want me, I'm sure God uh, made them uh, say that. And uh, so we stayed here. And uh, this is where we are today. Amen. And uh, maybe then it came, it came back to take up uh, the pastor. I don't know. Amen. But he, he didn't come, so we hope he'll come and <laughs> pray for him. And uh, he should become a good man if he just uh, get into the book and uh, grow. And he'll be a help. And then human causes. And, uh, the net. Second Samuel and verse uh, chapter eleven verse one. You know this guy uh, I wonder why he wants to stay home, yeah. When it's time to go to war, he wanted to stay home. And then when he stayed home he had nothing to do, yeah. So he looks around. You have nothing to do, that's what you're going to do. Hmm. You get in trouble, yeah. And it came to pass after the year was expired at the time when kings go forth to battle that David sent Joab and his um, servants with him and all Israel and they destroyed the children of Ammon and besieged Rapa. But David tarried still at Jerusalem. Wrong place of it. And it came to pass in the evening that David arose from his bed and walked upon the roof of the king's house. And from the roof he saw a woman washing herself. And the woman was very beautiful to look upon. And David sent an inquirer after the woman and the one said, Is not this uh, Bathsheba, the daughter of Elam, the wife of Uriah the Hittite? And David sent messenger and took her, and she came in unto him, and he lay with her, for she was purified from her uncleanness, and she returned unto her house. And the woman conceived and sent and told David, and said, I am with child. And look at uh, chapter 12 and verse 1 through. Uh, I think uh, for because of time, I might just uh, look at um, some here. And the Lord said unto son, uh, Nathan, unto David, and he came unto him and said unto him, there were two men in one city, the one rich, the other poor. And then the story is the, that uh, 
And then uh, Nathan said, you are the man, you are the man I'm talking about. In verse number 7, Nathan said to David, Thou art the man, thou saith the Lord of God of Israel, I anointed thee king over Israel, and I delivered thee out of the hand of Saul. And then so forth, and look at uh, verse number 10. Now therefore the sword shall never depart from thy house, thine house, because thou hast despised me, and taken the wife of Uriah, the Hittite, to be thy wife. He made a mistake, y'all. He made a mistake. You know, idleness will get you into trouble, y'all. If you have too many, nothing to do in your life, and that, uh, the, 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 the guy that's talking about getting drunk is, has too much to, uh, time to waste. And so the only thing he can do is get drunk. And that's what uh, David, uh, he's supposed to be uh, doing his job, but he stayed home, got into trouble, and he sinned. You know, the circus, at the end of that, uh, is in verse 10, the sword shall never depart from thine house. You know, sword is to, uh, used for uh, defend or kill. And uh, the Lord, even it, uh, because he despised the Lord, his children will be dying here and there, yeah. And uh, you know about some of his uh, people that died from David's home. We want to hit that one of them later uh, in the other uh, part of the message. Oh, did David, eh, that now, that is now, ah, they heard ah, what is this, that who can do us, that who will be out, nan, jo, that's on, jo, gala. As son, they, John, they, they, son, if it does not snail, how go, which they need, they heart, they, son, the bunny, nan, equal, Nathan <laughs> ne <laughs> So a lot of times I believe uh, uh, some uh, uh, part of our lives will affect uh, for some time uh, in our family what our uh, and then choosing the wrong crowd. First uh, Corinthian, they or the net any. You know, some people that are crazy, some of them don't even think beyond their step, yeah. And, and, and these people would, uh, uh, are out in the world and you become friends to them. Uh, be not deceived, evil communications corrupt good manners, they yeah. uh, Evil habits uh, will uh, corrupt good people, yeah. The nado yada shoni nayad yada and they shon. Oh, hak is to what e what a e what a dorsi. Jo e an he de ea, jo e ya has na. The fourth thing is, uh, Spiritual causes, yeah, spiritually, 
bad weather, hallelujah. Uh, the storm is coming, the storm is brewing. You know, children with uh, no godly influence, yeah. As church, that's not that I'm talking about. He said, My parents are Christians. But I don't know how he ended up this way. Maybe he didn't go to church. Maybe he heard sheep when the church was going on. Maybe he looked at the cattle when uh, they're supposed to be in church, but somehow there was no influence from the parents. Mm. Oh, he's uh, he's in the, uh, in a in a jail now. First Corinthians uh, nineteen, uh, Genesis nineteen, Genesis. ハードシンチャガンでアドホテンギデヤダペデラズンチャガンベクラシラズハジンチャガンでオラルチズハタナンダイチズベネイテオラルナホテンアオヤホアチョーチョイアドホティスナダダチェアジャンオトランベヤド
Enough for our Wednesdays, we're talking about inheritance. What can we live for, leave for our children? Yes, we can uh, put some money aside. We can uh, buy uh, or build a house or uh, buy a nice car and leave that behind. But the main thing is our godly lives. Yeah? That's what we need to leave behind. When we are gone, what are they going to remember? What kind of a father am I? Are they going to remember? What kind of a grandpa am I? And they remember that. That's what our inheritance will be to those uh, that follow us. So human spiritual car, I guess I missed one here. Looks like I missed some. Oh, okay. I think I did okay on that one. Oh, no, I, I actually missed one. Personal choices, Shane. Hey, a second Samuel. Let me a quick or as a date read the other verse, but I didn't dwell on the other one. But actually, this one here is David again. David and his children. You know, God already said, "The sword shall not depart from your home." I don't have to talk me there. They make bad choices here in Second Samuel 13, 1 through 5. Let me read that. And it came to pass after this that Absalom, the son of David, had a fair sister whose name was Tamar. And Amnon, the son of David, loved her. And Amnon was so vexed that he fell sick for his sister Tamar, 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 for she was a virgin, and Amnon thought it hard for him to do anything to her. But Amnon had a friend, remember I said, your friend is going to cut in there and make some uh, not so good a decision for you. 
whose name was Jonadab, the son of uh, Shimeah, David's brother. And Jonadab was a very subtle man. That means tricky. He likes to be a schemer. And he said unto him, Why art thou being the king's son lean from day to day? Oh, not. Oh, 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 oh. Nacho Pago na 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 let my sister Tamar come and give me meat and dress the meat in my sight that I may see it and eat of it at her hand. Uh, and that, that is uh, something uh, wicked that had happened, you know, you you get sucked into wrong choices. It costs you. It costs you your life like this man. In verse 22, Absalom spoke unto his brother Amnon, neither good nor bad for Absalom hated Amnon. Notice Absalom is the son of David. Amnon is the son of David. And they hated each other because he had forced his sister Tamar. And then uh, look at verse 28. And Absalom had commanded his servant, saying, Mark ye now Amnon's heart is a mare with wine. And when I say unto you, Smite Amnon, then kill him. Fear not, no, have I not commanded you? Be courageous and be valiant. You know, a brother against brother. Because of one mistake, yeah, the father. The sword shall not depart from your house or any door. I can see that no nest of any na. As soon as she, David, yod or na, na chas ah, a man after God's own heart had no nest. A koko a ba as soon as it's not no nest of a koko a ya end and that but they say absolutely never teach me get a hidey treasure. But she yearns to go. Probably the, the young style that we have today. You can uh, get you hung up in a tree and somebody might just come by and put a sword through your body. And that's what happened with the man. And what a sad story. A family each home, home destroyed because of a uh, Men making it, making bad choices, and then others will uh, make uh, per personal bad choices. And so we go back to uh, Lot, you know, the man Lot, uh, the result of his mistake is uh, the home, the spiritual leadership. You know, there's the other person there in our world that can uh, cause us some trouble. I think uh, the world uh, puts uh, a pitchfork in his hand. I don't think he has a pitchfork in his hand. I don't think he's ugly either. You know, God uh, created everything perfectly. 
Hey, no, we are sinners, yeah. We look okay, but there's a decay inside, you know, that the world has a Miss America contest, yeah. Beauty. Yeah, inside that beauty, there's some sin, yeah. Mm. You know, so, so I believe Satan is as beautiful as he can be. And that's why we're attracted to rock music. Oh, cool, ye music, aren't they? No, each They're drawn to it because uh, Satan draws people. First Chronicle chapter twenty-one, verse one. And Satan stood up against Israel and provoked David to number Israel. What number Israel? He was to trust the Lord. Hanet, not the how Hanet. You know, it's not the the same situation with uh, Paul when uh, the storm hit. They took a vote, and they said, "Hey, Paul was outvoted." So they had to keep on sailing. They got into trouble because of that. And so here. He numbered every tribe, yeah. Every tribe gave a report. The 12 tribes of Israel said, This is how many, this is how many. And it looked like that, that was a lot. His trusting on numbers, not trusting the Lord, yeah. You know, Satan can uh, get you. To look at your own resources, yeah. And you remember Genesis 3, we always uh, had a uh, time on that where Satan came to Eve and uh, asked her a question. Hath God said? God said, when If you ask a question, you might not get the right answer in because uh, you're not strong. How about going to Matthew? <coughs> Matthew 4. Matthew 4 and uh, verse number, let's see. 1 through... 11. Then as Jesus was uh, led up of the Spirit into the wilderness, he to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days, 40 nights, he was after work and hunger. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command these stones to, to be made bread. And Jesus said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. And then the second time, He said, I'll give you the whole... Uh, actually, He said... Um, Cast yourself down at the hand of the feet of the feet It is written, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord. Uh, the next thing is, he put, he put him on the high mountain and say, I'll give you the whole world. And Jesus said, Get thee hence, Satan, 
For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. And uh, there's another verse that I was uh, I was looking at and then I didn't write down. Second Corinthians two eleven. And then Second uh, Corinthians two eleven and Second Corinthians eleven and I believe it might be Verse number three. You know, Satan will come and uh, get you to do wrong. And that's his job. That's what he's doing. He's not honoring God. Not about anything in the heart he told God. So David, if it... Uh, I thought the mean betrothed so I had the Corinthians two eleven you know, we become puppets before him. He can use circumstances that, that happen, uh, get us to disagree, get us to fuss, get us to um, not love each other anymore. And then gospel, Dr. Ohadat, Ehe Bata, Second Corinthians 11, 3 or 4, Ehe Bata, Ehe Bata, Ehe Bata, Ehe Bata, Ehe Bata, Ehe Bata, So, to end that, uh, uh, I hope I didn't rush myself through because I, I kind of felt that I need to complete the first four part uh, more than the last, the last one. Number five, spiritual advice. Don't ever... Don't overreact. Overreact. And then you get out of here. So then, na, get it now, ya. Hazi. Goshi, should you shut up, ne, ya? You know, people left the church that way. Some say, ah, okay, I'm leaving. You know, they they are not in church today. Those that said that, and some of them are gone. Uh, the Lord took them, save yes, and look at uh, back at the uh, Acts one seven nine, and the the Satan was now dangerous. And then uh, Paul uh, admonished them. He said, there's going to be some harm, there's going to be some hurt. And then they went the other direction, yeah. The Bible says, wait on the Lord. And he will uh, bless you. Psalm 27, 14. Number two, uh, next one is don't consult the wrong crowd, yeah. Mm. You know, uh, majority is always a ruling, yeah. We are the minority, the Christians. We have less uh, vote. If you take a vote, you're going to be outvoted. Uh, 10 through 11 and now, and said unto them, Sirs, I perceive that this voice 
will be with hurt and much damage, not only of the lading and ship, but also our, of our lives. Nevertheless, the centurion believed the master, who is your master, and owner of the ship more than those which were spoken by Paul. At least listen to some preacher and then make some things right, yeah. And yet that's what, not what they're going to do. They want to uh, take a vote, yeah. And uh, they'll go their own way. And then don't get too comfortable. Verse number 12. And because the haven was not commodious to wither in, that means uh, that's not... Uh, a very comfortable place to be. The more part advised to depart hence also. You know, they said, let's go ahead, this is not the place. There's some snakes, and I'm Paul got bit by a snake. There's some uh, bad, bad creatures who are walking around, hey, let's get out of here. And I think that the water here is uh, uh, has more wave in it than the, the other place. And I think the other place would be good. You know, people will uh, give you good, good ideas on what you would like to. You know, Jonah, remember him asleep in the ship? They got comfortable. Hmm. And then Amos 6 1 talks about having ease in Zion. They had everything ivory beds, they have nice uh, houses, they have everything. They like to take it easy. If you like to take it easy, eh? Don't get blindsided, y'all. Yeah. Do Adams at a cartago. A coach was cut a yet at the neck. It do a high, high, hard or done pens to the rasa, yet a dust cheat at the yard. Do what I hope as he had a deal to the hand near. None let me get a deal to that me. Adam that Ado led up. Fish the net, not to lay his door. You know, life as a Christian here in America is uh, pretty nice. A little co confrontation, a little uh, hurt and discouragement here and there, but hey, don't get used to just being here. Don't, don't get comfortable. Oh, oh, the business thing I do there. Oh, geez, squash. I think it was uh, Ephesians 5.14 or something like that was saying that a weight out of uh, sleep. And then Romans uh, said the same thing, awake. A lot of Christians go to sleep. They, they get too comfortable with where they are. So, which in the week now, or London, no. Oi, then, deem what oi, that, eh, And then, not take a boat. This is now verse number 12. Hey, uh, the more part advised to the partner. Lago Evaness, Naha, and I found all that in it. And then there are sometimes circumstances will control you. And uh, verse 13 And when the soft wind blew softly, supposing that they had obtained their purpose, losing thence. They sailed close by Crete. They're heading to trouble, yeah. Hey, the wind got 
Die it down. Hey, this looks good. Hey, I think we are at where we're supposed to be. Ah, let's keep on going. Circumstance. Satado Hatasadaya. The verse I put down in uh, Matthew 14, 22, 31 is. Uh, where the Lord sent his disciples across the sea and then uh, the storm hit. And I say, peace may not look peaceful I mean everything around you don't look good. Peace is supposed to be inside you. Yeah. In there, we are. Yeah. Oh, everything is going wrong in there. It should be peaceful there. Peaceful. But there's yet on Nago, eh, oh, how Gallup Independent prophesied that the world is ending. Oh. I'll just look at the, the front page and that's why I said, well, I'll read it. I'll just look at the writer and uh, look at, it wasn't a man. I said, that, that person might stir up something like uh, Something, stir up something. Hey, listen to us about the end times, y'all. Uh, We've got the book that says uh, what's going to be happening, how to prepare for it. We've got the book right here. Mm -hmm. I think Gallup uh, Independent uh, wrote, ran a story. I uh, just happened to gas up and then uh, wonder what they have for the news. And uh, look at the Daily Sun. It says COVID-19 has... Uh, uh, has a little dip, and then I look over Gallup and the Panther. The end time is here. And Navajo Tom said, COVID checks are coming in. <laughs> <laughs> and so they, they, you just look at the front page and you get an idea of what's going on with these things. Uh, so, you know, circumstance sometimes control you, yeah, what the heck? None he look, none he suck, so I need to. What are you, what the heck? Now, what the heck? So, you know, you get to none that, or so, yeah, or none. Fire up, get right with God, and you gotta keep on walking with Him and serve Him. That's about all you need in the time that we're at. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you again for your word. We pray for your blessing on the day. And whoever listens this morning, we pray that those people will see that uh, we might be sailing smoothly, but maybe somewhere, somehow, uh, we might uh, might be getting in trouble. Like we heard uh, uh, some... Uh, Shipment of uh, sent to Ukraine about some uh, Russians interference with uh, a country and maybe America is going back to war. And they say we're going to pull out of Iraq now and uh, have to pull back into uh, Ukraine. So I don't know what's going on. So bless our lives and we. Keep trusting you. You are the one to whom we have to do. We we'll pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to end the service by singing Wonderful Words of Life, page 234, in the light, the light red song and the dark blue song. Verses 1 through 3.